Today I am building an enclosure for the mighty Spinosaurus. This is the biggest habitat I've ever attempted in Prehistoric Kingdom and the stakes are as high as the Spinosaurus's sail. Can I create a habitat that suffices both its territorial instincts and aquatic grace? Witness my architectural genius, or lack of, as I attempt to house this aquatic giant without flooding the entire park. My name's Gemma, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, like I said in the introduction, we are building a habitat for the Spinosaurus, and this is my second favourite dinosaur. I was extremely excited and pretty much overwhelmed when the announcement got made in the uh, Update 9 trailer. Um, that we were getting the Spinosaurus, which was absolutely incredible because, as I said, my favourite dinosaur, one of my favourite dinosaurs, the Spinosaurus obviously being the second, the Dilophosaurus always will be number one for me. So right now I am building a viewing platform for the Spinosaurus and I really love the idea of... You know in Jurassic World how they have the Mosasaurus, uh, kind of stadium almost, and I really like the idea of there being this kind of viewing area where you could watch the Spinosaurus and there would be a, like a, a ranger's talk and they would be, you know, showing how mighty the Spinosaurus is. And I love the idea of, again, in Jurassic World, how the Mosasaurus jumps out of the water and then takes i think it's like is it like a, a, a shark is it like a great white shark i'll put a clip in okay folks let's see if she's still hungry after already eating today and basically i just i had that idea in my head when i was building this so this is the viewing platform we're putting security in right now because security is an absolute must in any kind of dinosaur park so i love putting in these details especially with the lights so you'll see that i put these little red lights on it and they look absolutely fantastic at night time uh, just those kind of little things usually lighting's one of those things that you kind of just forget about um, but it is really important especially if you are touring your park at night which most people don't really tend to do but yeah i just thought i'd add that information in at the moment and then we're just putting in these like thicker beams at the bottom just for a bit of security and then building this out even further i did have this ramp here i was going to have it so you could get uh, double access to this viewing platform in the end i do go away and change that all out um, and then just now I'm making the Spinosaurus uh, display board because this is going to be a viewing platform. I just wanted to make sure that education was uh, really uh, prominent in the park. So this is me just putting in some squiggly text there and putting in the Spinosaurus actual name. I love the fonts. The new fonts in this game is absolutely fantastic. And here I am just marking out the shape that I wanted to go for. So I have put in different kind of colors you'll see on the map here so currently there's like the sand color that's supposed to be where the water is and then i was thinking about the brown bit was going to be more like gifts guest pathing um but the more i played about with it the more it just didn't kind of work out and then here is the underwater viewing bit if you want to know how to do this i do have a tutorial out on the channel um there's three kind of techniques that i have worked with um, this is kind of your basic one, just a, a normal underwater viewing section here, which hopefully will be a feature within the game that you don't have to manipulate it, but I'm sure things like that will come to the game eventually. So yeah, just a, a little under viewing area here. Um, I struggled with the terrain a bit because if you get too close to the water, it then um, kind of messes it up a bit. So this speed build, um, I've cut it down as best as I could. Uh, there's a lot of footage here also, and I will apologize right now that it does kind of jump all over the bit. So there's areas that you might not see completely finished and there's areas that in the real time tour part, which I'll take you to at the end of this little section, um, you'll notice like it wasn't included in the speed build and that is because I lost a lot of footage 
um, I decided to try and tinker with my settings for recording to try and get a better quality. Um, I do have like a 4K, like a 4K ability to record in. And I thought, oh, why am I recording in 1080p if I could record in 4K? So I was trying to like tinker about with that, see if I could get, you know, higher quality. And what I ended up doing was just absolutely messing up all my recordings to the point where all the footage was just unusable. So even though I have the ability to record in 4K, I'm just going to stick to 1080p and no one's ever complained about my quality of my videos. Um, and I guess it's just like a nice thing to have would be to, you know, advertise, so to speak, that all my videos are in 4K. But yeah, that's that's a conversation for another time. Anyway, so right now I'm just putting in some rocks just to make it look all purdy. And then I decided at the other side of this that I would put in a waterfall again that has been taken out of this speed build. Um, there is, uh, like I say, there is quite a lot of bits that are just missing, but yeah, here we are putting in the ramp which goes down that connects to the other side. There's that bit to the left hand side which is, is more of a rock feature. I ripped that out. I did not like that. Um, I, I like the idea that you can have multiple viewing points to the Spinosaurus habitat, but there's just parts of it that I just thought, no. I don't like it, so I'm going to take it away. Um, and then, yeah, back to more rock work because rock work covers a lot of sins. And then this is actually the the building here. So what I'm doing right now is just figuring out one side, making it look all pretty. This technique is really good. So you see that yellow brick that I had? Basically, the four millimeters, four, four meters? Four meters, not millimeters. Imagine it was four millimeters. It'd be absolutely tiny. Anyway, um, it's really cool because you can't really tell what section relates to the other. So if you change the colour of it, then it just makes it line up a lot easier. So that was the technique that I stole from Heister and I will fully give him credit for it because it's a fantastic way of doing it. And then I am making here is the little blocks for the bleachers, so to speak. We don't call them bleachers in Scotland, that's for sure. Um, basically, it's just a row of, of chairs. Again, because I wanted to make sure that the guests could use it, I'm just using the actual in-game uh, benches here. I don't know if the guests can use it. I've not let guests in this park at all. So I'd be really interested to see if they do use it. It would be very nice. And then I'm just making these custom stairs at the moment, just to make sure it all blends in nicely together. And then we'll put in a railing when we get to the top there. Um, and then I also add in lights, which you will see me do. I'm just filling all that bit in. There's the lights. There they are. Pretty. Again, it's just something to consider when you are building in your park. Because mo the majority of people build in the daylight and then they forget uh, what it looks like at night time. But I'm, I'm the worst for it as well. I will probably... If, if we ever come back to doing live streams, which um, I do love doing live streams, I just, I find them quite a, a struggle at the moment just because my job is very demanding. So uh, to find that energy and that passion to do a live stream um, would be absolutely fantastic. So I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Um, so right now we're putting in this little keeper area here and then I decided to make a custom speaker with the the little uh, vent things here um it, it looks okay it's not the best thing that i've ever made that's for sure and uh, we're just putting that up there i need to make a bracket for this i do actually put them at the back of the the stadium uh little viewing platform thing as well and then into making some foliage which i love doing i always feel like foliage just brings everything all together um, I also do an add in a little bit more rocks and some branches here as well. And then in the middle of this habitat, we do have this kind of little island. And I, when I was building it, I was thinking of like Dumbledore's Island, um, where if you are a Harry Potter fan, I've referenced Harry Potter a lot in my videos. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking about that when I was um, building this section. Um, 
just there's no dead bodies as far as I'm aware in this park but you know just looks nice plus the Spinosaurus can come up there and, and bask if it wants to um, I don't know where this park is set that's the only thing it is in a temperate biome so I wouldn't say well you you guys can pick where it's where it's based um, I'm just enjoying playing the game I just really love this game so if it looks pretty and it looks cool then it basically goes into the park uh, but yeah we are nearly halfway there um, coming up to the the end actually of me blathering away um, more foliage more foliage here just putting in some um, also mulch just because I wanted to make sure that you know plants could grow and although plants can like grow out with cracks of uh, pavements I just wanted to make sure that it just looks really good um, but I love putting in foliage. Foliage is my favourite thing in the game. To the other side of the habitat, it's not really not really a focus um, within the speed build, but again, I will show you all that in the real-time tour part. And then here's me just putting in more rocks because I decided to pepper this with, uh, with grass uh, just to make it look good. Um, then I was trying to like figure out the shape of this habitat which I really did struggle with um, because I wanted it to have like two sections so you've got the the viewing platform there that they can come and do kind of whatever they want and then you've got the other bit which is the underwater bit and then around the side here I thought we'll do like more of a viewing kind of at guest uh, height um, yeah I, I do actually really think this habitat looks good um, especially with the different different settings that you can have and then here I am just putting in a, a little little treat for the Spinosaurus so at the start of this I spoke about the um, I think it is a great white shark that the Mosasaurus eats and I, again because that was in my head I wanted to create this and my husband helped me out with this he basically had the vision of how this like little pulley system would work that the keepers would be able to reel it in put like a massive bit of like tuna or something on it reel it out and the Spinosaurus could come and jump up and, and get this like massive like tuna fish so here I'm just putting in the hook and unfortunately, I lost the entire rest of this footage. So let's go to the real time tour part. Okay, welcome everyone to my little tour section. To start off with, we will just be looking out for the Spinosaurus, which I did actually see it. It's over here somewhere. Uh, there's two in here. There is a white one and a black. Uh, I know they've got names to them. Oh, look, the white one's over there. Um, I I don't know what they're called. Oh, it's in the water. Anyway, <laughs> you can see it's sail. Uh, but it's a really good viewing area for them, uh, for the guests. So roughly about guess how here. And we are just going to go around. So this part here, I know it's glass, but there is a little bit that the spine is... There she is. Oh majestic <laughs> anyway there she i know hello hello my friend um i've not been in prehistoric kingdom for a while now um and every time i come back in i always get really excited anyway that's me just being an absolute geek so for safety precautions they could probably easily jump over here this is supposed to be electric so they're you know not supposed to um but that's that's that part uh, we'll take you around the side so this will take you into the viewing platform and uh, the 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 lights are not not on at the moment I, I hear you oh my god I love them so much um yeah so this would have the the Spinosaurus TV screen on there is a couple of things that I have taken off the workshop uh, like this for example this is incredible um, in the description below I will put a link to all of these items uh, please do go and give them thumbs up and love to all the creators who have made these uh, objects I don't have a list of their names at the moment um, so right now this is just the 
excuse me this is just a little shop area that you can come in this was just looking a little bit boring so i just decided to put in some vending machines um the cups are mine uh all this is mine i've, I've built this before so the lunch boxes are missing the little symbols but apart from that i think everything is kind of intact yep yeah, looks fine um and then we come around here and this is our viewing platform now this is the issue that you get when you manipulate too close to the water this happens and it is a bit of an issue um i will say however i am not willing to you know change the whole entire build just because this has happened so pretend like this isn't here um because i can't really do anything about it but from this point of view you would be able to see the spinosaurus if they were um you know swimming about we've got one there i don't know where the other one's gone uh but still really really cool and then if we come back up the stairs here again this i do like this habitat um there's parts of it that i really love i love the skylight skylight and uh, the windows and stuff and even the fence i quite enjoy and uh, here the spine source is going for a little swim so that's really cool both of them are now in the water and this habitat is big enough for the the both of them as well which is really nice and then if you come along here um i do have these windows in at the moment but i was thinking about putting some implied habitat in again we'll probably do that on like a, a live stream and then we've got um this over here which is not being made by me because this is incredible again i will put it in the uh in the description that you can go away and and give lots of love to um but yeah this is fantastic spinosaurus skeleton i just thought that kind of added to it made it pretty damn majestic might put like a little photo point in here as well that you can like stand here and get your your picture taken with the the spinosaurus that'd be pretty awesome um i've noticed that that should be white <laughs> all the all the things you notice when you do a tour um and then when you come out here i've just put the glass in again i did have like this big rocky bit but i just thought we'll, we'll stick with the glass could the Spinosaurus easily get up here and knock through? 100%. However, this is a game and um, don't come at me just because I want it to make it look pretty. So that's what we decided to do. Um, and then over here is you would come up to the viewing platform. So again, we've got these uh, seats here and the speakers, donation uh, things as well and then around here is the keeper's talk now this was the whole inspiration for this uh entire thing so you would pre press the button and then this would reel out into the section here which is this massive tuna fish which i have not made again credit to the, the person in the description below who has made this um you would have seen that i made the hook and then yeah massive tuna fish which is absolutely awesome i just think it looks so good uh so they would basically reel this out and then the spinosaurus can can eat it and then the guests would be able to have the ranger or the keeper basically stand up here this is the, like the low low section and and you could oh my god my camera skills are so bad at the moment you could basically just sit here and uh, watch the spinosaurus come and and eat it it'd be really cool if we could get tv screens as well i think that would be really awesome um that's just popped into my head right now so we'll probably do some implied like you know tv screens and um yeah speakers and stuff i mean we have made this speaker you can't oh it's disappeared <laughs> okay well we did have a speaker there basically that was the speaker uh we, we can we can do all this on a live stream um but yeah we'll we'll take you around this section as well so just because um it's a massive pond pond area it's all man-made i wanted there to be like a little filtration system 
Um, this little island's pretty pathetic, to be honest. There's not much going on here. And then we do have the waterfall as well, which makes it look really good. Um, and then I will take you up around this section, which is the hard shelter for our Spinosaurus as well. So this is really basic. Not much going on here. I just wanted it to be enough space for the Spinosaurus to come lie down and chill out. So very, very, very basic. The Spinosaurus's head is currently within the wall. <laughs> okay, my friend. Uh, yep. Enjoy your view. Oh, my friend. Um, so yeah, the Spinosaurus is, is having a bit of a moment. Um, the idea would be that they could obviously have them in here. Could you get two in here? I reckon you could get two in here. And then if you go through this door, now this is going to look ugly because it's it's not, you know, properly done. Um, but this is the backstage area for the keepers. So imagine you just came through that door. So we've got a fridge here. You've got a little prep station um, where they're like, you know, cutting up the, the fish and stuff and putting in the buckets. And... Um, yeah, it could make like a, a, a coffee or whatever. Little post-it notes, hooks for their, their coats and stuff. Little cleaning cleaning area for like cleaning down the fish or like clean your hands. Health and safety because, you know, don't want to slice open your, your hand when you're um, cutting open tuna. Again, this has been taken off the workshop, so I will uh, put a link to the person who has created that. Um, apart from that, everything else in here has been made by me. Um, yes, I can hear you. Uh, and then we've got like the, the 5S boards and the, the walkie-talkies, which again does have that more... It does have a battery. Where is it? Yeah, this is the problem. There's just so much detail being put into this that it does get lost. Um, so yeah, that's supposed to be like a little battery icon and stuff, but you wouldn't you wouldn't notice that unless you get like right up and close uh, to it, um, just because of that draw, which I did speak about in my uh, last episode. So hopefully that does get fixed in a patch soon, because it's just a bit of a shame having all these like little details and you do have to like zoom right into it to see it all. Um, but yeah, even like this. And it kind of makes you feel like, what's the point of putting the details if you have to literally be like this close to like see a see a, a, a plug socket? But that is my rant for today. Um, yep, there's dots. <laughs> there's dots, but you can't really see them. Uh, so just maintenance room um, with their, their little like paint paint brushes and, and stuff like that. Little scrubbing brush, which was really difficult to make. Um, hammer. This is supposed to be like a screwdriver. All that goodness. And then you've got a really good view out of the blinds here. Again, those details that I just love, love, love putting in. Even like the, the little handle. But this is the the keeper's uh, viewing section. So they can't really see out into it. And then if you come in this part here, this is just again the the little food area which if you've seen my velociraptor habitat you would have seen me build this um and then the general waste i don't know why the a's are always white um i find that in every single prehistoric kingdom park all the a's are white have no idea why but this is um this is just really basic there's actually no gate in here but it's fine but I want, what I wanted to make sure was that from here, if you were, um, you know, like watching this happening, that you couldn't really see that much here. So although you can kind of see them maybe like preparing stuff, your focus isn't going to be on this building. Your focus is, your focus is going to be over here looking for the Spinosaurus and looking at what's going on so i will now take you to this section and we'll just flip the camera around so you can see what it looks like from here um again not that not that fancy maybe you should put in some um safety things as we've done around the corner 
uh, little signs for the Spinosaurus, which should technically be on, um, but they are not. And yeah, you can, you can have a look for the Spinosaurus if it's walking past. Um, I think we have got, yeah, three of them here. And then in the middle here, we'll just take you up and over. Uh, this is where the food is, so they can, there we go, autosave, can get something to eat if they don't want to perform, so to speak. Although, to be honest, this is more like an enrichment item that, you know, they know at a certain time that if they're wanting food, then um, 12 o'clock, Monday, Wednesdays and, and Fridays, Saturdays, then they know that they're going to get a massive bit of, of tuna. Um, other times it's probably just sitting over here with whatever's in this tray. And that, my friends, is our Spinosaurus habitat. And they are absolutely majestic. Um, I won't, oh, excuse me. I won't take you around the rest of the park just yet because there's a lot of areas that are really needing um tlc but again we can we can do that all in the live stream let me know if you have enjoyed the video i would really really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up it does really help out the channel and if you are new around here and you would like to subscribe and see more prehistoric kingdom content and i will talk to you guys in the next video so until then take care